Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be doing a tier list on Tarkov and that tier list is going to be scav map tier list. So basically which map is it best to visit with your scav? We're going to do three categories for all the maps, which is going to be the PvP section. So players versus players, so that can be scav players or PMCs. Um, we've got the scavenger section, which is all things looting and, you know, finding dead players loot and things like that. Because that can be really big on a scav run is finding a level 5 armor and maybe a nice gun it's always class and then last but not least we have the time section so if you've died in a raid with your boys which which maps are best to jump into get some decent stuff and get out before you know your, your boys finish the raid or something like that so yeah we got the lab down here as well i know the lab doesn't have a scav right now i can't see it ever having a scav because obviously you have to pay with a key card to even get in there that's about 200k or something like that so we're not expecting the lab to get a scav anytime soon, but we are going to include it because we have a tier with the um, lab that will one in every tier. So we'll just put the lab wherever we would put it if it had a scav. So let's jump into anyway with the PvP section and we'll just start with the lab on this one and we'll see where we will put it. And it's gone all red for no reason. We must have been on the wrong thing there we go so we're starting with the lab and i think i may move them as we go but i think i'm going to put the lab in a b section now the reason i'm putting it here for pvp i'm assuming say you're getting halfway through the raid obviously if there was a scav on the lab and i'm putting it in the b section because you you'd come up against a lot of really geared players there's going to be nothing but geared players so you are going to struggle to kill them no matter who they are in the lab, you don't really have much cover. Everything's around corners. There's no bush camping or anything like that. Gonna, so you're not really going to catch much players out on the lab either. So I'm going to put it in there at B. Now shoreline, I, for the sheer traveling, and you come in late on this map. I haven't come in too early on this map, like 20 minutes. It has to be somewhere low. Um, right now, I'm going to put it in the E section. Now don't get me wrong, not all of them are going to be S to... F, like, you know, like, there might be two in D and two in C, but for, for, for the sake of the video, I'm probably going to put one in each one, and we'll go from there. Um, next up, we have Reserve, and this is for PvP, and I'm going to put Reserve in the A tier, because you get a lot of PMCs, you come in early for start, it's always, always very important when it comes to PvP, coming in early, but you get a lot of scav players about you get a lot of players still about in reserve so definitely good if you're trying to catch a pvp fight or you know catch someone leaving the raid and take all their gear next up we have the factory and the factory is going to go i think in the c here i think that's where factory is going to go or is it going to go in d um i haven't played much scavs on factory the least scavs of all these maps obviously but by the lab so i'm going to put it in d for now and we'll see where we go with that. One of these has to go into F. Um, and that would have been Woods in this section, I believe. I think Woods would be my least favourite scav. I think there'll be a few people that don't like that. But that's what I'm going to put it myself. And then we're going to go for Customs. And for me, Customs is going to slot in the S slot. It's going into the S tier. Because you come in sometimes in Customs as little as 5 minutes before uh, after the rest of the people in the game so you can literally get to anywhere on customs before people a lot of the time so that gives you the full pvp range of what customs can offer and it can be a brilliant map for pvp um there is better places to hide like i said than somewhere like the lab um reserve things like that as well reserves good as well it's, re it's really close between these two the reason i put it customs up is because i know you come in slightly sooner on customs again so customs going to sit up top Reserve is going to be in second place, and that leaves us with interchange in this one, which we're going to slot into the C section. <laughs> the C section. And I think that's about right. Is that where it sits? Like, what I don't like about interchange for PvP is you do drop into the map late. So a lot of the PvP is gone. It has really good scav v scav PvP, which I think both these maps kind of offer good scav v scav, like scav player. Um, but they don't really offer too much good PvP. The factory guys are usually dead or extracted. The interchange guys, again, usually extracted by the um, last 10 minutes of the raid when you get in. Now, 
let's get them back down here and move on to the next section. Let me know what you think about this here, whether you think this is right or wrong or like terribly wrong. You know, people ain't gonna agree with it. I get that. Um, let's move on to the scavenging section. Wow, that took a lot more time than what I thought it would, so we're gonna try and move a little bit faster. On this one, we're gonna start with factory. Actually, yeah, let me move labs over. Let's put factory there, because when it comes for scavenging, I think factory is gonna be the worst of the lot here. So it's an easy F category for that. The lab, where would I put the lab? I might save the lab for a minute and go to some of the other ones I feel a little bit more confident about. Woods, I'm confident of putting that in E straight off the bat. I don't think it's going to be good for um, scavenging. Customs, do we put that in C or D? You have a lot of time, which is decent. But customs loot isn't really... Like, it's great, but... I'm going to put it in C for the moment. Interchange, you don't get a lot of time to scavenge, but what you can find in that short amount of time is good. I think maybe that is right to go into C like that. And customs goes down into D. Leaving us with these three. And again, shoreline's not that good, really, either. This has come together nice and fast, the scavenging one. Shoreline's going below interchange because you spawn right in the action on interchange. And you know what? It's going, it's going there, shoreline. Thing is, Shoreline can have major loot, but you've got to get to the resort and hope it hasn't been looted, I guess. I think that's where it sits. We'll see what you guys think. And if there was a if there was a scavenging in labs, would it go here? Or would it go here? Here or here? I think the lab would be the best scav. I'd really do more so for the players that don't get taken. Like I think you would come out with slicks quite often if you were scavenging labs. <laughs> And that's the reason I've kind of put it there. Reserve, you get so much, you get so much good stuff on reserve. So many raiders, so it's definitely worthy of the A tier. But the S tier is going to the lab on this one. If there was a scav, there would be way too much good loot coming out of there. And I'm not surprised there isn't. All right, let's get on to the last one. And that is time. Right, we're on to time. And what I mean by time is jumping into a raid, a quick scav raid, being able to get really good stuff. And then getting out within a reasonable amount of time because, you know, you jump into a custom scav raid, for example, it's it's a long way to your extraction point so you can get caught up and it gives you 40 minutes to get across the map. So for me, I think time wise, jumping into a custom is one of the hardest maps to extract from. Right now, I'm going to put it there. I, I might even do this because at least you can go straight to your extraction on customs, pick things up on the way. Where a shoreline can even be a little bit rough for that. You might spawn away from the loot. And if you want to get anything before going to your extract, you're going to have to hit some loot earlier. So I think this is probably your worst for time. Don't go into a shoreline raid unless you have 20 minutes that it gives you to run around. Um, the lab. Hmm. If you had half of the time in a lab, I think I think the lab is going to be a little, little higher up actually. The factory is definitely going to be an A class here, 100% brilliant for time. You don't even get enough time when you go in there. So if you're really just looking to grab a few bits and bobs, although the loot's not good, so I'm going to drop it down to a B because it might not be worth your time. We're going to leave it in B for the moment. We have reserve. Woods. Woods is poor. Woods is definitely poor. I think Woods might even be last place here. Bringing up customs to a D. Customs is bad as well. All these are bad for time. Um, tough to get out and tough. these two are definitely bottom two and I think Shoreline actually is slightly better than Woods. Uh, interchange, either S tier or A tier. It gives you 15 minutes on interchange, sometimes 10 minutes. And sometimes if you spawn in the right place, you can get a hell of a lot of stuff off dead people in interchange and really come out fat with just a 10 minute raid. I'm not sure if it's the best. I You know, just because it isn't really the best on loot. Again, I think... The lab is easy to get out of if you know what you're doing. You could pick up what you want in 10 minutes, say that's the time you had, and you could hit a extract easily. And you know what? I'm going to do the same with, with this. Reserve is really easy to extract from as a scav. So I think this would be the best one if you had a short period of time. Now, this is just a little further on the channel, something different. I've just been having a bit of a laugh with this. I've um, watched Pesley's tier list videos, and obviously... Um, you know, enjoyed them. I wanted, wanted to do a tier list of myself for a bit of fun. Might do a few more. Let me know what you think about this, where I went right and wrong. If you want to see more videos like this, I will do more on the channel. Let me know.
probably going to do more anyway. Doesn't really matter if you let me know or not. But I'm, yeah, I like these videos. I'm going to leave this video there anyway. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always. And take it easy.